How can we learn to concentrate in this modern era? What can we do to fight the incredible amount of inputs and distractions the world gives us today? Well, I have a solution, maybe just a simple recommendation that may help you. So please keep watching. Siri, where is the nearest... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I have no excuse, you know. But in all honesty, it is something that faces you and me all today in this modern era. They're distractions. They are the things that pull you and me away from cello. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. It's how to increase your level of concentration for your cello practice. Now I'm just like you. I've grown up with the internet. In all honesty, there are a lot of distractions out there. For instance, calls from, you know, your, your significant other. Video games. Football. Tablets. Phones. Having money or not having money. Cats. Chickens. Even sometimes the good book. Yes, you can be distracted by so many different things these days. And just like I learned one day at mass, the preacher said, the priest said, that you will always have something better to do than having time for prayer and reflection. And the same thing goes for the cello. There will always be something coming to you in a form of distraction or obligation that will take you away from your instrument. You must set aside the time and be strict about it. And this is what I suggest to you to do in order to make that time with your instrument as good as possible. When you practice, you should always reserve time prior to the time with cello and afterward as well. That means at least half an hour prior to your practice, you turn off all screens. You stop taking all calls. You feed the chickens, you pet the kitty cats, you kiss your loved one, and you send your children off to go play because you have now reserved time for cello. This happens a half hour at least prior to your practice with cello. And then you get into instrument, you do your 15 minute warm up, you set a goal, you achieve that goal, you're not oriented by time, but you're oriented by your success. And then when you have achieved that goal, set another goal. Or maybe at that point, you're playing for your simple pleasure. But once you are done with your practice session, it doesn't matter how long it is, remember, it's the quality, not the quantity. When you're done and you put cello away, that is a time that is even more essential to allow the brain, the heart, the mind, the soul absorb this new success, this new recreation, this gift that we've all been given, the gift of music. And you allow your time to be settled for music. That means another half hour. Yes, you've probably never been told this before, but think about it. The last time you took lesson, you drove to your lesson with your teacher and you had a great lesson. And then you got in the car and you drove away or you walked away, you took the metro away. How much of that lesson replayed in your head? Was it immediately ripped from your head as something else happened afterward? Or were you allowed to enjoy the ambiance of the learning that you did with cello and your teacher? And I want you to do the same with these videos. Watch one of the videos, watch them completely Absorb as much as you can, but of course, turn everything off. Get all those other distractions that YouTube throws at you out of the way so you can allow yourself to learn cello distraction-free and full of good concentration. I think you can do it because you're here and you're watching this video. And if you subscribe to this channel, thank you. If you've been thinking about subscribing, why don't you consider it? What I like to do is I like to not only teach you the essence of playing an instrument, but I also do some covers of songs, popular and classical. At the same time, I give you cello talks like this 
based on 20 years of private teaching on two continents. So I thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and stick around a while because I think you're going to learn a lot.